is bad and bad is good. We're getting that message from the media, from the government, and from the church. But how is it that things that were sins just a few years ago are now considered gifts to the church? Confusion reigns supreme, and it's because the good is under attack. One example of this is how pro-life students on campuses all over America has faced harassment, theft, and vandalism from fellow students. And this is from people who think they're doing good. Church Milton's David Nussman discusses this phenomenon and tells us how this persecution is happening throughout the West. Pro-lifers in the United Kingdom say they face rampant discrimination and harassment at universities. This according to a new survey of 200 pro-life students. The poll found 23.8%, about one in four, said they've been threatened, abused, alarmed, or distressed for being members of a pro-life club. It's a similar story for American college campuses, where pro-lifers routinely face vandalism and harassment. Ma'am, don't steal the sign. You can't steal the sign. You're on camera stealing a sign. In 2019, police arrested a student at the University of North Carolina after she tried to steal posters from pro-life group Created Equal. Yeah, and this is why women have such a problem getting abortions in North Carolina. At the University of Wisconsin-Madison that year, a college student was arrested for spray painting Created Equal's pro-life signs. Ma'am, ma'am, don't do this. Don't do this. Examples abound, but to name a few more. In 2018, pro-abortion vandals targeted a pro-life Cemetery of the Innocents at Bellarmine University, a Catholic institution in Louisville, Kentucky. About 100 miles northeast at Northern Kentucky University, pro-lifers have faced vandalism repeatedly over the years. My friend came back and, told, and called me and was like, the crosses are already destroyed. The group's president, Maria Walker, says the display includes 300 white crosses. Each one represents 10 babies that are aborted every day. 30 miles north of that, at a satellite campus of Miami University of Ohio, students kicked over crosses from a Cemetery of the Innocents display in 2018. All this is just a small sampling of what pro-life college students go through nationwide, according to Students for Life of America. Hey, why are you tearing down our posters? Aggression against pro-lifers is part of the far-left culture dominating academia. Conservatives and pro-lifers often face insurmountable odds just to book a speaking gig on campus. The intolerant atmosphere on college campuses is arguably an incubator for the left-wing cancel culture seen in Hollywood and on social media. David Newsman, Church Militant, The Download, Detroit. In the 2018 to 2019 school year alone, Students for Life of America recorded more than 50 cases of vandalism on college campuses against pro-life signs and displays. And circling back to the UK, pro-life university clubs claim they often face violent threats from pro-abortion zealots.